Right, I'm, I'm at um, St Thomas's Church at Simpson in Buckinghamshire where one of the first Lockwoods I've located, William Lockwood, was born. So I've located the church, it's very old, there's lots of very old features. It could have even been a priory at one point. Um, I haven't found a Lockwood grave, but there are a lot of them are unreadable. They've been very eroded, but there are some very old graves here. I did find a James Clark though, and that rings a bell. There are Clarks in Jolene Duncan and George's family from round here. So basically what I've done is um, they're having the tea party this afternoon at three o'clock. Uh, so I might come back. I'm going to have a look around the village now. Come back and see if the church is open at all. So that I can at least go and have a look inside. This is the main church. There wouldn't have been Wesleyans, I don't think, in 1750. I think everyone would have been baptised here. There's a couple of Clarks. There's an Arthur Clark. He was born in 1910, died in 1989. A Frank Clark. He died in 1988, 69. There are a few Clarks around. I just thought I'd do a little video of the church. I might not be able to do anything inside there'll be people around. I'm glad I've got here now before people arrive. People don't like you know, looking at me. Um, they don't always find it very good for people to be videoing and snooping around graveyards, you see. It's, it's lovely and pretty. It's a nice spring day as well. There's lots of pollen in the air. Yeah, it's a good old Norman church, but with much earlier origins. I'm picking all this up from my various visits to cathedrals, castles, priories, monasteries. For example, if we go around the back here, we can see lots of... There would have been another entrance on the side here. I say lots of old graves that you can't read, look, see? Um, this bit particular here at the back here, if I zoom in across the doorway there, the shape of the brickwork there, a lot bricked up places there, there's an arch thing there and the same on the top of the church where you can see that once another building was attached here. It could have been a private vault. This could have been a private vault area here. Um, there's no money, see, for restoration. The um, government don't give a lot of money anymore to uh, churches. They have to raise all their own funds. So you get the little... Well, actually, in many ways, it's a good job that they don't do too much because as you, all this would be covered up. Ob obvious entrance in there. Lots of rubble, rubbleization. There's an old font there, look. They didn't look that old actually. That's just been put there as a flower pot. Don't know how old it is. Then we've got the, the Clark grave here, this one with a type of Celtic cross. This one here, James Clark. I don't think he was very old. He could, might have only been 13. I'm not quite sure. But people will be arriving soon here. So it would have been a very agricultural place, very agricultural. There's a, some laid down here, look, you can't read them. Getting the moss off would do even more damage. 
See, some are laid down like that. St Thomas Church, Simpson. That's where William Lockwood, 1750, was born in this parish. There are old, old graves about. They're having a tea party soon. But it's all locked, can't get in, I might have to wait. Um, they're having a strawberry fair on 28th of June. Uh, that's at St Mary's Church, Wharton on the Green. St Thomas Church, yeah, they've got their tea party today at three. There's also a St James Church somewhere. And Lockwoods could be in any, any of those churches, you see. These the, the churches I come to are just guidelines. They're just guidelines. There's nothing to say they can't be in others. Right, over and out for this video, because it's just a short video.